overwhelmed and almost speechless, but those of you who know me know that's never quite been true. <laughs> I will say the speeches for tomorrow, but I want to start by thanking just a few people today. Let me start with Father Ted Diziak. Loyola's Vice President for Mission and Identity, who has led the planning of the entire inauguration. He has brought together so many parts of the Loyola community so we can determine how best to express who we are. And he did it with the unstoppable help of Angela Turnbull, our extraordinary event coordinator. I want to thank every Loyola student here to provide the music. You are representing all 4,000 of our Loyola students who come to us with their God-given talents and work so hard to sound like you do. And when you perform, I've never been so sure that God is listening to us. Thank you. And for Meg Fraser, Jean Montez, and Ken Weber for um, bringing them together. For Father Mercier, thank you so much for your wisdom and your steady counsel and for being here with us today. To all of the Jesuits whose institution this is and will always remain, I cannot express how humbled I am that you have placed your trust in me and how hard I will work to deserve it. And to my beloved Uncle Joe, you baptized me in this church 47 years ago you married Gordon and I in the Jesuit church downtown. You baptized our daughter in Ignatius Chapel. We run out of Jesuit churches, so we're having to repeat. <laughs> this is not a sacramental moment either of us could have predicted. But if I can be half the person you are, Loyola will be in very good shape. Thank you. I have many more people to thank tomorrow, but let me stop by saying that growing up in a family full of Jesuits meant learning a great deal of Gregorian chant. And there is one piece of music that Jesuits have been singing for 500 years and that they all know by heart. And I'd ask if they would stand and join me now.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 